Today in a new dot design tutorial we're going to create fluffy hair. So for this tutorial we're going to start creating the base that will be the geometry. For the beginning we're going to use a box just for understand what's going on because we're going to use instancing and when we we need to create a grid so um, the cube help us or the box help us to understand where I'm organized everything. So we need the box, we need a geometry, camera, we need a line material. For the line we don't need a light so that's okay. Render, 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 render. Here a transform. We put one here and enable this so have a black color in the background and then a null and we change the name to out one and we preview this okay cool we need to connect this material to here and we have our box cool the idea is use just we're going to put here this aligned i'm going to connect and you can see align from point is important this point a will be zero Point B and X will be one. So this line. If I change this to, for example, to here to one, so here, so because it's Y, and if I change this to C, we don't see anything because it's going to directly to us. So yeah, right now we need to just the cube or the box for C what's going on. We need to change the resolution that will be from the render will be mid dot parent parenthesis dot parent w the same here me dot parent parent perfect okay uh, so we're going to use instancing instance here so first we need a grid grid. And for this grid, we need to um, change the rows and columns. So we're going to use these variables another, and another, and another operator. So we're going to use a constant. We're going to use rows, columns, 25 and 25. I'm going to connect this to everything here. Rows and columns, perfect. I'm going to connect here a null. And for the null, um for instancing we can connect directly to the soap but sorry if, yeah for the soap but i prefer doing it with a chop because we can change or add more information to this thing so here no change the name to instancing and going to put here to translate x y z. so you can see a lot of box there. Going to change the scale a little bit for more space. You can change the size for this. Small ones if you want so you can see what's going on. And what else? Yes, we have the base for this. So the idea is um, I'm going to connect our line. So all the lines going to our direction, going to Change the um, this one, the point of view. Yeah, the camera um, position. Okay, we have this. But the idea is to move uh, every blind. Uh, so it's a way this maybe we can create a noise. So it's moving the position. Um, so a cool thing that we can do is maybe. Uh, move the rotate this so how we can do that first um we're going to create a um, here a noise the noise will be a full color and we need this one uh, 32 rgba nervous nervous pixel and important need to be the same resolution okay that is important 
and maybe two so you can see then we need to uh, reorder and the reorder helps us to understand what do we need input one would be for example this input or g we don't need the alpha we can put maybe zero the beer if you don't need maybe another you can put it again zero so rgb will be x y and z so yeah we have that then we need to know and maybe we can check we have um pixels it's the same this is why it may be connect this to be r g b so we have our elements and we can put in simply 4d and animate this moving oh but um we're going to do it in a different way because we're going to use fractal so you can see how this work first we need to send this information to this grid so for do that uh, so we're going to put this so for yeah for do it we need to um, connect this to transform this to a chop top two okay or grab to full image and then we need a shuffle and for the shuffle we need to change this to sequence channel by name rgb and important here image we don't need the alpha rgb okay and then a null i'm going to put color to the nulls so remember a null this is a null and this is a null so the idea is send this data this information to our sub and then to the sub to a, a top two and then to this uh, geometry why because we're going to use a fractal just for that going to use a sub two going to delete this and going to explain so i'm going to put here oh sorry here <laughs> in the shop so what is the channel that we need uh we need error r g b and we need to change what we want to change the um normals we can add in this way maybe for example sorry in zero in one and in two oh you can do it with just an n because it's a vector three three numbers so we have that cool and then we're going to sub and we need the normals so go, we're going re receiving this data, okay? Then again, going to instance, going to instance, going x and x, and x y and x z. But we have the same, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to change a few things. <laughs> okay, uh, first we have that, and we need to uh, set up a little bit our material because it's a line um, and we need something similar like a like a hair so the cool thing about the line is we can change the width uh, width near and the width far so for example i'm going to put just one here this one far yeah this one thing like a thinner and far yeah more 20. okay so we can animate this maybe a time let's take an um give me a second give me a second because i i, I broke my keyboard and i don't have the multiply <laughs> simple i'm going to copy this and return give me a second okay i return i copy finally this symbol and uh, zero dot one so we have this are moving cool um what else we can do um the thing is when i saw this was okay it's a line we need a complex line a different line type of line so i thought i'm going to delete this box i thought maybe i can do the same thing i did with the grid but i'm going to do with the line so for this, I'm going to transform this to a sub two. So I have the position, in this case, T, Y, and T, X is zero all the time. 
um, what we need to do is change maybe one of these parameters. So I'm going to create a pattern and first and for the line when you we we have just two points. So if I can see it's two points. Yes, two points. I maybe I want thirty. So yeah, we have that. This will be the new TX, for example. I'm going to create a math. And the math will be so you can see minus one go to one. So um see this one minus one to one and maybe one zero dot minus maybe no zero dot two two zero dot two yeah something like that and yeah maybe it's smaller yeah something like that <coughs> sorry so we go into here and we connect with our replace because we want to replace tx so when I put here change, I'm going to connect an O. I'm going to change the color, and I'm going to change this to chap two. So I'm going to delete this, this, delete that chop. What do we want? T X T Y T Z will be the new position. So you can see we have like a cure. Not too much. A lot of in this case, I prefer something not too much, seven. And we can animate this, ABS time, that seconds. Again, I'm going to copy my multiply that I have here. And zero dot two. Okay. Yeah. So it's moving. And what else that we can do? Because when we do this, is we are affecting all the uh, all the lines for is the same. So a cool thing is adding a scale for each line. So for that, we're going to do the same. We're going to connect a pattern, and this pattern will be a scale. And we can connect this to a map. And the mat again will be minus one to one and will be maybe zero that two to one. And we're going to, in this case, will be merge because we want to add this information. We can go to here, instance, and go to scale. And because we are changing the X, maybe just we're going to the scale for the X. So yeah, the so here is slow, small, or longer. And another thing that you can play is with this. You can play with what is the best for you. Play with that. See what is the best or what you liked. In my case, I use this and I change. You can try with this. What happened if I put that? Why? Yeah, maybe I like something like that. Then we can stop this. And change that is too much. Um, oh no, so um, <coughs> sorry, sorry again. Uh, so we have this, we have our ah, uh, we can. Sorry, I forgot. I uh, animate this IBS time. I hope copy this. Yes, uh, through that. Maybe two. Mm, maybe if you start that second. There we go. So we have this. Maybe it's moving too much. One. Okay, cool. So we have this fluffy hair moving. I'm going to change maybe that. Yeah, maybe something like that. And okay, what else we can do with this is. Uh, do you remember that we're doing this um, way because it's going to use a fractal? Is because yes, we're going to use a fractal. And the cool thing about fractal is first it is cool, but be careful. I don't because if it's important. Maybe we can stop this. Depend of your computer. Um, connect a fractal and division. Just use one. 
it's, it's okay one no you don't need two so we have this and the cool thing is we can play with this with the like the um, depth of this distance yeah maybe something like that maybe it's too much hair or maybe and play a little bit with this if you don't want this of this yeah so you can see one is going to go just to the left but if you change this going to different direction maybe this this yeah something like that me too yeah i prefer something like that because you can hear this, this like the hair and the normal obviously you, you can play with maybe three is okay and then we enable the fluffy thing sorry the fractal and again discover what is the best for you obviously obviously we can continue changing the um, material we can play with this what is like what is this um maybe more thickness yeah i prefer something like that cool you can continue adding more fractals and see what's going on but be careful and try to see what how your computer works and after this we need to add more information i'm going to use a null here for just in case and then we need a simple feedback 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 this one going to keyboard in connect this to our reset for the feedback and a simple feedback is just that in a level and then connect everything to a composite connect this to here maximum and we need to change the position and the feedback connect this to so we create like uh, just like like detail so you can see some more information after that we can we can con work with the level if you want or contrast or no um level maybe contrast yeah brightness something like that and we can add our effect that we I share with you and Patreon that will be the focus. Make this to here, to here. And we select maybe we want vertical blur these areas. And if you don't know what it is, this is um select different RAMs. They're connected to a Lumara blur. And just that and we have this effect uh, and if you want to add more information we can go with the glow effect ah important i'm going to connect the focus at the end after the black thing here much better like the final process just change the blur and the glow here in the middle would be maybe too much but we can but yeah, maybe it's too much. Zero. A detail. The details are much better. So uh, yeah, that is the tutorial. Uh, it's not a big, uh, big uh, network, but the idea is use all the form of send data to using the uh, shop two. I'm going to put color for you can remember this is the important shop two. Maybe another one. Uh, I the blow that. Um if you have any question just let me send me a message um to Instagram, YouTube or Patreon, whatever. And I hope you like it and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.